Hello, welcome to Python for Academics. In this video, we're going to write a Python script that automatically updates a readme file by listing all the available uh, Jupyter notebooks in a given directory. Now, this can especially be useful if you're storing your code on GitHub or GitLab, because those sites can format your readme.md file nicely, and it can act as kind of a high-level documentation of the code that you have available in your repository. Now, in order to generate this readme.md uh, file, we're going to uh, generate the following markdown code. So it's going to start with this header that says available code, and then we're going to list all of the uh, Jupyter notebooks with their file names that are stored in a given uh, directory. So we're going to start by importing a couple of uh, useful uh, functions. So we're going to import uh, listdir from the OS library. We're going to also import uh, from os.path. We're going to import is file. And we're going to specify the directory where our uh, Jupyter notebooks are stored. In this case, this is the same directory where I have got this particular uh, Jupyter notebook. And we're going to create a list of file names that are present in that uh, directory. So we're going to do that with uh, list uh, comprehensions. We're going to write for i in list dir directory and we're only going to list those items that are actually files okay and this gives us a list of all of the uh, files that are present in that directory now notice that not all of those files are jupyter notebooks so we're only going to be interested in those files that end with this extension ipynb. So now we can go ahead and create our uh, readme file. We're going to use the open function with the w uh, string, which will allow us to write into a file. And we specify the path and the file name. So this is readme.md. And now we can see that this readme.md file is generated in that location. And we're going to write uh, this. First, we're going to write the header into that file. We're going to use the write uh, function on that readme file uh, variable. So we're going to write into that file available code. And then we can also add uh, two new line characters uh, just so that we have this nicely formatted. This function write outputs how many characters has been added to that file. And now we're going to loop over all of the Jupyter notebooks that are present in that directory and we're going to list them. So we're going to write a for loop uh, for file in files but we only have to uh, list those files which are Jupyter Notebooks. And to, to check the extension of a file, we can use the split uh, function and split the file name. So we're going to split every file name uh, using the dot character. And we're going to set that uh, into uh, some assign this to some variable. So now if I print on this variable file list, what you can see happens here is that all of the file names are being split into two items in that file list. The first item is the file name and the second item is the extension because all of the files have been split using the dot character. So now we can uh, apply an if statement. Uh, so if file list, if the last element in that list, so the extension is equal to i pi n b, then we're going to add something to that readme.md file. So now we're going to uh, again write into that file. And we're going to write the following markdown syntax, so a hyphen, uh, square bracket, Jupyter notebook, column, 
and then we're going to have um, the inline code and we're going to add the file name and then we're going to open a regular bracket and we're going to add um, the file name again here this will this will create a link uh, to that Jupyter notebook and then also we're going to add two new line characters uh, just so that we have this nicely formatted and once this for loop uh, is finished we're going to close that file so that it cannot be modified anymore and then maybe also we're going to print uh, some uh, diagnostics uh, so we're going to uh, print that the readme.md file is generated in this particular directory okay so now i'm going to run this uh, code it tells me that the readme.md file uh, is generated i can open that file and you can see that uh, it looks like what we wanted to obtain so now i can also show you a preview of that readme.md file how it would look like if you uploaded that file to github for example now all of these items are links i can click on that link and it opens up uh, the corresponding jupyter notebook and uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you is that now that you wrote all of that code, you can actually copy all of that code into a uh, separate Python script and store that script in the location where you have your Jupyter notebooks. And then every time a new Jupyter notebook arrives, you can rerun that script and it updates your readme file. So I created such a script, I basically copied all of that code that we have here into a single Python script, which is called createreadme.py. And now let's say that I have a new Jupyter notebook uh, created in that location. I'm going to call it new uh, notebook. And let's say that I would like uh, my readme file to be updated. So I can go ahead to the terminal and just uh, run that script. So it tells me again the readme.md file is generated in that particular location and now if I open up this readme.md file you can see that this new notebook is written into that file. So in the next video we're going to add uh, extra bits to this script to allow for more information about your code being printed in this readme.md file. See you then!